hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous uh, video we discussed about the piezoelectric transducer for measurement of force and pressure so in today's video we are going to discuss about another device of course it will be utilizing piezoelectric material but it will be used for measurement of another uh, physical parameter which will be for uh, measurement of acceleration so today's uh, transducer is uh, the piezoelectric accelerometer okay so the accelerometer uh, is a device which is used for measurement of acceleration and there are different types of uh, accelerometer that are available and uh, different properties electrical properties are used on the basis of which the acceleration is measured it can be capacitive it can be resistive and there are other uh, uh, accelerometers too but uh, most commonly which is used the accelerometer it is the piezoelectric accelerometer okay so today's discussion will be about piezoelectric accelerometer now in the piezoelectric transducer for force and pressure measurement I have already covered about uh, the piezoelectric effect, the inverse piezoelectric effect. So let us just uh, quickly go over those things. So the piezoelectric materials are uh, those which have a unique property in which when a force or pressure is applied perpendicular to the crystal surface, the piezoelectric material surface, an electric potential is developed across the ends of the crystal surface because of the material going undergoing deformation so this is the piezoelectric property the piezoelectric effect when force or pressure is applied perpendicular to the crystal surface electric potential is generated the inverse piezoelectric effect is the reverse uh, the reverse occurrence it means that when we apply an electric potential across the ends of the crystal the crystal oscillates or vibrates with a unique frequency which is unique for each crystal type and also the magnitude of the electric potential. So this is the inverse piezoelectric effect. Now the piezoelectric materials that are. Now the piezoelectric materials are uh, two types of piezoelectric materials that are used. Okay which are classified in two categories which is the natural piezoelectric materials and the synthetic uh, synthetically designed piezoelectric materials so the natural uh, the example of that is quartz tourmaline which are the commonly used natural crystals and the synthetic ones are rochelle salt lithium sulfate and dipotassium tartarate so these are the piezoelectric uh, crystal which are commonly used for design of uh, the transducers now the piezoelectric accelerometer so the piezoelectric accelerometer the whole device the whole setup it consists of three things first the piezoelectric crystal which is the main component of this whole device then we have is a seismic mass which, which is attached to this piezoelectric crystal and then we have is the measuring electrodes so here is the diagram we have the piezoelectric crystal okay and uh, with it is attached the seismic mass and we have is the measuring electrodes which across which the output voltage or electric potential is taken out then the whole uh, mass and crystal uh, thing is uh, firmly attached to the base so this is the whole constructional setup of the piezoelectric accelerometer so how this thing works now when this uh, device is subjected to acceleration okay when it is accelerated or decelerated positive or negative acceleration whatever then this mass which is attached to this crystal this is also accelerated along with the whole 
base okay the whole device is accelerated so this mass is also accelerated now this mass having a value uh, the mass having uh, the mass uh, m as a result of uh, because of its mass it exerts a force on the crystal perpendicular to the surface with a value of f is equal to mass into acceleration ma this is the force which is exerted on this crystal surface this is newton's second law force is equal to mass into acceleration this mass exerts a force perpendicular to this crystal surface because this whole setup is accelerated okay let the acceleration be a the mass be m so the force acting to on this crystal piezoelectric crystal is equal to f is equal to ma now the electric potential which will be generated when this force is exerted on the crystal and the crystal undergoing deformation that is given by we know the electric potential value is equal to gt f by a okay force this is the area of the crystal surface this is this force which is equal to mass into acceleration g is the voltage sensitivity t is the thickness of the piezoelectric crystal okay so this force it can be written as mass into acceleration okay this force it can be written as mass into acceleration so here are the various parameters g is equal to voltage sensitivity which is equal to k by t where k is the piezoelectric constant which is unique to each piezoelectric crystal t is the thickness of the crystal f is the force applied in newtons a is the area of the crystal surface and p is the pressure f by a now so this equation e is equal to gt m a by a it can be written in two ways in this way a is equal to e a by gt m or e is equal to gt m a by a okay in small a by capital a now here the parameters a g t and m they are constant okay they are constant the mass of the crystal the mass of this is seismic mass the mass of this uh, this attached thing object is constant the thickness of the piezoelectric crystal that is constant the area of the crystal surface that is constant and the voltage sensitivity that is also constant which is unique to each crystal it is specified in the specification sheet of the transducer so the only things that are variable in this are the electric potential which is the output this equation is the equation of the piezoelectric accelerometer the electric potential which is the output which depends directly on the acceleration small a g t m and a are constant okay g t m and a are constant it can be treated as one big constant and this a small a which is the acceleration is the variable quantity so the output electric potential this output voltage is directly proportional to the acceleration to which this device this setup is subjected to okay so this is the main equation of the piezoelectric accelerometer the output electric potential is equal to gtm by capital a into small a g t m and capital a they are constant so the output electric potential this voltage is directly proportional to this acceleration okay so this is the piezoelectric accelerometer so it has the same advantages and disadvantages like that of the force and pressure measurement piezoelectric transducers it is small size and has less weight so it will not occupy much space it has good sensitivity that is output by input ratio and the frequency response of this uh, device is also good and the output voltage level it is appreciable okay now the disadvantages is that uh, the piezoelectric crystals they are highly fragile unless and until you do not handle them properly the chances of cause of damage to this piezoelectric accelerometer or piezoelectric transducers it is very high the cost of fabrication and designing 
and uh, the, the whole thing the piezoelectric accelerometer it is also very high so these uh, sensors are very costly and also the piezoelectric crystals it uh, exhibits some changes with respect to change in temperature so this output potential fluctuates with change in temperature so these are some of the disadvantages of the piezoelectric uh, accelerometer because of the piezoelectric crystals that are used in them so here we have discussed about uh, the piezoelectric accelerometer okay and uh, we discussed about the various things the piezoelectric effect the inverse piezoelectric effect the piezoelectric crystal materials the construction of the piezoelectric accelerometer the working principle and the advantages and disadvantages so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much